Hi y'all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So I've got an updated review of the AOKP ROM um, This one is probably one of my favorite um, of all time I uh, just love ROM control and it's really very uh, consistent across platforms and uh, you know we have that resurrection AOKP for Galaxy S2 also um, now it's available for all Sprint, Verizon, and GSM models. Um, so, and it's in Milestone 5. Um, congratulations to um, the AOKP team for making it happen. Um, I've seen them grow from nothing into one of the best ROMs for Android just in general. I would say AOKP is even better than CyanogenMod Mod 9. Um, some people might agree and disagree, but um, AOKP is kind of based off the CM9 also, so it's it's an open source thing. But I just like the, I just really love the customizations, um, everything just baked into the settings. Uh, for those of you new to um, Galaxy Nexus uh, AOKP, let me show you a tour. Um, so I've got my customized buttons there, it's red and green goes on green and uh, instead of I've got AT&T SIM card in there I put Xenomax and then my calendar shows up in color um, you can do this all of it um, in ROM control and I've got it to uh, one thing I really like is the new milestone 5 allows you to overclock up to um, 1.48 gigahertz um, running pretty stable actually I, I was rebooting at one I'm going to set it back to like 1.42. Um, it's very good. It also I have voltage control. You can tweak it um, to get that much uh, itty bitty more gigahertz out of your phone. Um, I mean, but it's, you know, Galaxy Nexus has really improved. I, I'm surprised how, how far they have come. Um, not just the hardware, uh, software wise, they're just nearly perfect. There's so many things that are you know with the ICS and with this ROM and you know it's gotten so much better and I've actually made my on-screen button smaller because um, I don't need it that big so my screen I can see more um, it's all in here ROM control general UI I'll just kind of walk you through for those of you newbies you can disable boot animation that'll save you a little battery uh, LCD density you can put it into tablet mode if you change this kind of um, there's instructions on how to do that but I just leave it. I'm just kind of. I will just install uh, Paranoid Android ROM if I want um, tablet mode. IME switcher volume options. A uh, custom car carrier label. That's where I change my carrier from AT&T to Zetomax. Um, navigation bar. This is where I change the red and the green. Uh, menu location, and you can even change what these buttons do which is really cool, it just totally customizes your Galaxy Nexus um, power menu options and uh, see I've, I've added actually these are not come by default but I've added torch since I use that a lot um, so if I hold my power button down now I have flashlight like that uh, because I, I want it everywhere like I use my torch a lot because I have a backyard here and sometimes it's you know is dark there and uh, there's also a way to um, if you hold down the power button it also um, you can enable this in ROM control so it's like anytime you need you just hold down the power button uh, when when your screen's off there you go so this is a great way like you're in the dark you just pull your phone out hold the power button down I love it's it's a small thing that goes a long way to uh, usability practice you know, practicality, um, let's say for over an iPhone that can't, you know, do any of that. Um, don't be a nightmare. And uh, performance, I showed you performance. Power menu options, this is where you can do it. Oh, no, no, not that one, sorry. There's also weather, power saver options. Um, I'm more of a data hawker, so I don't use power saver. I'll be on. You know, plus I carry two phones. If I run out of memory or run out of battery, I'll just use my other phone. Um, LED pulse notifications, stuff like that. General. Um, let me see transparency. 
more toggles, reset toggles, clock, you can change the um, EMPM style, this is all kind of cool. Signal, um, if you want actual DB because you're, they're very anal about um, the, your signals, then do it. Show signal text, oops, well, that's yeah, Wi-Fi, that's Wi-Fi. Um, DB and stuff like that. Anyway, that's ROM control. You get it all um, with this. And I think, I seriously think, I mean, there's very little difference between all those great ROMs out there for right now, Galaxy Nexus. But I think um, this is one of the best ROMs out there, and I keep coming back to it. And that's why I'm doing a video update. And now it's also available for all Sprint, uh, Verizon, and GSM. The Sprint version is actually not from AOKP team. Um, but it is ported, um, so you know it should work fine. Um, it's not an official build, but it's you know it's you know, it works, so it's fine. And it comes with a Nova launcher um, and the default ICS launcher. I suggest using uh, the Nova launcher because you can put more stuff on your bottom drawer. Um, definitely makes more sense. Um, I really love this. I really love this ROM and uh, makes your Galaxy Nexus perfect. Actually, I'm gonna actually force myself because I've been using my Galaxy Note so much. It's got so many scratches. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna start using this, which is like practically new. I haven't really used it all that much. So I'm gonna give my Galaxy Nexus a go. Um, definitely one of the best phones out there for the money. Right now you can spend, uh, I'll have a link where you can get it. No, not a link. You can get it on the Play Store. If you go to the Play Store, um, you can buy a Galaxy Nexus. Galaxy Nexus. And you can buy one for $399. Oh, where is it? Oh, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Um, somebody enlighten me where I can get it. I'm not going to go into it. <coughs> um, but definitely one of the best ROMs. If you're going to run Galaxy, if you're going to get a Galaxy Nexus, definitely get one. It has, you know, one of the most complete um, ROMs that work really well. And right now is a perfect time. When I first got my Galaxy Nexus, I had a lot of problems. Like, I had signal problems. It would drop. Um, but with the new updates, um, those things disappeared. And also with uh, flashing a new modem. And uh, I was on European modem. And I think that's why I was dropping. And uh, this is Android 4.0.4. And based off the... Um, the latest, latest, what is it? I M K something something. I don't know. It's a I M M seventy six I. Um, yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, go flash it. Um, th this is the milestone five. It's a stable version. Milestone means it's a stable version. Uh, again, um, donate to the guys who made this. I'll have it in the credits. Um, Love this ROM. Definitely, this is gonna be what I'm be rocking for um, at least a week. Uh, but uh, definitely try it out. That's the ROM of the week, Milestone Five, available for all three phones. Love it. Um, you will love it. And let me know if any problems you have, um, and uh, that way I can get some feedback. And uh, if you have any ROM suggestions, um, any ROMs that I haven't reviewed or you know that or any ROMs that you're you're running right now and uh, it's running well with uh, another kernel or whatever combo uh, anything cool features about a ROM don't forget to leave in the comments so I can review those or try out try them out too um, because I'm not just doing this for ROM reviews I want the best ROM on my phone too so it's good to get feedback uh, let me know and uh, and I'll review those too um, put it in my to-do list um, and uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. And if you have a Galaxy Nexus, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynexusroot.com uh, where I update you like once a week uh, with ROM reviews, ROM of the week. Um, you know, it's a good way if you just have the phone and you don't want to check, you know, my Twitter updates or something or what, whatever. Not my Twitter updates, my YouTube channel. And I have too many videos I upload anyways. That way I can just send you one email and you can get the ROM of the week or whatever hack or tip of the week. And uh, I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit that like button here. Subscribe button here um, if you have. Thanks a lot. Um, 
and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. But Milestone 5 is out. Um, there's a lot of bugs fixed. Um, I'm not going to go into it. You can you can go look at the changelog in the credits if you want to. Um, but trust me, this thing is just flying. Um, you know, I love it. So, that was the ROM of the week. See y'all later. And uh, I'm going to get high on Android. And of course, don't be an eye whore.